Every once in a while you need this sort of adventure that tells you that you still got it. Yeah. So, still got it. we'll see. see. That's yet to be determined. So our mission today is to get to Pitt River Hot Springs. And there are a number of ways to get there, but we are going to choose the most challenging one, which is to do it by human power. And that means 30 kilometers of paddling, which can take anywhere from six to eight hours, depending on the waves. And then another 30 of biking, which is why we've got the bikes in the canoes. All right, kilometer zero of 30. At least I didn't tip you right there. Ugh. Here we go. Beautiful cliffs all along here. All right, we've done about five kilometers, so almost a quarter of the way. How are you feeling? So far so good. Beautiful day. Great day to be in the water. We heard the sound of a waterfall, so maybe we might stop here for a bit and check it out. How you guys doing? Ready for a shower? There's golden ears. Fantastic hike we did a couple of years ago. The end of the lake. We're almost there, a few more kilometers. Alright, we made it. Yeah! We've got about 25 kilometers and about 4 hours and 15 minutes. And we're at some old industrial outpost of the abandoned logging industry. So, pretty sore from the paddling or are you good? Oh, I'm so sore, man. Sore? <laughs> ready for biking though? <laughs> change, of, change of scenery, yes. Ready. Yeah. You ready to get those legs worked out? Yeah, something different than my shoulders. <laughs> We, let, let's see, we did upper body this <laughs> for the first part of the day. Wilderness Road. By proceeding further, you are assuming all inherent risks like death, for example. We're starting our biking portion of the trip. To be honest, uh, riding a bike 30 kilometers on an old forestry road doesn't bother me after surviving the lake. If that wind would have been in our face, I could have seen it taking twice as long, so don't have to have that risk on the road. Because of my heavy breathing. <laughs> Good, job. Good job, guys. Flying. Yeah. It's dry too, eh? Well, we lucked out, guys. I think we only went 22 kilometers. So the paddling and the biking were less than expected. Okay, now we're into the, the hiking part. We pretty much just dropped all our stuff and we're gonna go check out the hot springs. Priorities. Yeah. If it wasn't for these ropes, it'd be 
pretty difficult. Pretty difficult yeah. We've got a big problem. It's too hot. <laughs> but it's not hot down by my feet. Okay. It's just hot up here. Get right? kicking. Yeah. Oh. Woo! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So a little history about the hot springs here. The road north of Pitt Lake was built by the logging industry and uh, some time in the winter some loggers noticed steam coming out of the snow and first discovered the hot springs and probably 25-30 years ago some locals built this wall and it's been a special place ever since. So our guess is that the hot pool here is about 50 degrees Celsius and the water temperature has to be no more than 10 degrees. So there's a good 40 degrees difference when you take the plunge on either side of the wall. to our canoes and I think our good luck of the trip has finally run out. We've got a super strong headwind. It is windy. Okay, we're off. Woo! The wild seas. Well, we only made it about six kilometers, but we found a nice little place to dock and pitch our tents. back on the early morning seas and it's nice and calm this morning glad we waited and camped the night we still got 20 kilometers of paddling to do though how's everything feeling on day three Doing good excellent all right it's the end mm. Woo! so compared to some of the other stuff we did how hard do you think this was like moderate Moderate, yeah. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, that was my feelings my too. Feet definitely aren't sore. Walk in the park, right? Oh yeah. Woo -hoo. Good job. Oh, oh yeah. Good. Oh, good.